What's up, Opinions of Mine YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being a part of this tribe. Thank you for being a part of my life. If you haven't got a chance to yet and you like the content that you hear, please subscribe to the link below so that we can stay in touch. Today's all about what you feel and about how you show it to others. So I myself am a very, very caring person. I care for somebody who I don't even know their name. Sometimes I care too much in my own opinion. But it doesn't mean that the way that I care means that it's going to be understood by somebody else. A friend of mine actually recommended me to read a book about the five languages of love or the five love languages. And it was after a breakup that I had in my life and it wasn't a very long relationship or anything, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't significant because it was actually a turning point in my life. It was a part of me that was like revealed to myself that I haven't seen in a long time because I don't really date a lot of people because I believe in it having to really just be very important to me to have to turn into a relationship. Now, if you talk to somebody or if you like somebody and they like you back, you know, that's great. Spend time with them. But when you're dating somebody, you're giving yourself to that person and that person only. And I'm only going to date someone that I believe that I could see myself with for a very long time, if that makes sense. So I was told to read this book. And when I read this book, I realized that a lot of things that I've been doing in my life and a lot of ways that I've been trying to show love in my life has not been the correct way to do so. So that's what I meant by this being a turning point in my life, because the fact that I now see that the way that I show that I'm trying to be genuine, the way that I'm telling words that are supposed to be genuine, doesn't mean that they're taking or taken as genuine and taken as loving words. They sometimes can be taken as spiteful words, maybe smart aleck type of demeanor, maybe something that just comes off as disingenuine, like the complete opposite of the way I meant it. And it's not a flaw within me. It's a lack of know-how to respond when it comes to how someone is showing they wish to be loved or they wish to be talked to or they wish to be appreciated. Because deep down, we all want to feel significant. You know that. I know that. Whether you're somebody who just wants to feel significant because you deserve it or whether you're just somebody who wants to feel significant because you've never had it. You deserve it regardless, but I'm saying that those are the two scenarios, and the funny thing is, is we try to communicate. It doesn't mean that I'm not a great communicator. I can still talk to you right now and hold an intelligent conversation with you. It just means that I've got to learn to start putting myself in the other person's shoes. I've got to start learning to look for signs of how they wish to be loved or how they wish to be appreciated or how they wish to be spoken to. I suggest you do the same. It can be the very downfall of a relationship, friendship, or even a family bond. And I think that it's a very simple suggestion, and I thought it was a great thing that my friend recommended me this book. I mean, even though I hadn't been in this relationship or in this you know, friendship with this girl a long time, it really helped me understand where I was going wrong, because I honestly was lost. And why wouldn't I be, right? Because I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't cheat. I didn't do this. I didn't do anything rash, if you will. But what I did do was just as bad. And that's because I didn't understand how to put myself in that other person's shoes. So opinions of the mind, definitely when you're thinking about saying things, you know how people say think before you speak? Not only should you think before you speak, but you should look at the way people are responding to the way you're speaking. Because it really will be a telltale sign if you're actually showing them care or if they're taking it a whole nother way than what you meant it. Miscommunication is the biggest distance between two people. It's not miles if you're doing a long-term relationship. It's not anything like that. It's a miscommunication. So if you can, always try to clear that up, clear the air. Try to express that you're trying to come off as genuine or try to express that you are coming off as loving. No matter what, it's just words to that person. So look at them. Think about how they've responded in the past and really pay attention. Think before you speak. That's opinions of the mind today. That's what was going through my head. I feel really good about knowing this for my future, even though it might be a little late for, you know, my previous relationship or friendships that I've had. That's okay. We all have to go through things so that we can grow through things. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.